Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was two earthquakes so far today that were of um, a large magnitude. This one I'm going to start with there in Argentina was a magnitude 6.1. 13 people reported feeling this earthquake and it was a very deep earthquake located within the Earth's asthenosphere. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that 6.1 earthquake. It's about 300 miles from the Peru-Chile Trench, the Atacama Trench, which is subducting underneath the continent of South America. Now, you may notice this red square. This is the area that was a total blackout from December 14th of last year solar eclipse and all these earthquakes are within uh, the area of total blackout i thought that was uh, kind of interesting so here on this academic paper we have a good example of the seduction that's going on underneath the uh, south american plate and there's two areas of the hemisphere which has low vo velocity meaning they have low resistance to movement earthquakes here on google search it says according to wikipedia velocity is the friction between the molecules of fluid fluids with low viscosity have a low resistance and shear easily and the molecules flow quickly high velocity fluids move sluggish sluggishly and resist deformation one of the reasons they have so many earthquakes there in south america more than likely because of the deformation that's going to form moving west we're going to have a very large earthquake within this area within maybe one to two years there is a paper about these deep earthquakes and the deformation that it causes here we got zero to two months and you notice um, the arrows and the directions uh two to six months let me pull it over here um six months to one year later and then i'll pull it down one to two years later see how the energy has been moving towards the west and we'll pull it over because this study goes all the way back to four years here we show, are showing uh, movements of 20 millimeters per year and movement going north to south of 15 millimeters per year. Here on this paper, it talks about the atmosphere being 80 to 200 kilometers beneath our feet. This movement of the lenosphere, the uh, low velocity of the lenosphere, is what makes the continents move or move more quickly in the location of South America. This magnitude 6.7 actually occurred about uh, 7.54 Pacific Standard Time, and it had a depth of 217 kilometers. Prior to that, there was a magnitude 4.5, a depth of 211 kilometers, a 4.1. Now, that was shallow. Um, that's way down here south. Um, that was only 10 kilometers. But there was a magnitude 4.1. 182 kilometers in depth and then before that there was a magnitude 4.2 110.5 kilometers in depth and then on the 6th there was a magnitude 4.8 221 kilometers in depth and then we got a 4.5 you can see the location there in blue 196 kilometers in depth that was on the 4th and let's see um a 4.4 on the fourth 168 kilometers in depth now back on june of last year 2020 there was a magnitude 6.8 earthquake um it had a depth of 96.8 kilometers and then on september 11th there was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake. Uh, that was a little bit farther north. Now, according to this paper, 
This energy can be transferred, deformation can be transferred up to 2,000 miles away. And then here on Geoscope, it shows how the plate moved, the subsidence occurred. Yeah, it's a very deep dipping area. And I've talked about how earthquakes have increased. Um, here on Google search, we got uh, 2000 and 2018. A magnitude 6 um, to a magnitude 6.9. In 2018, there was 117 earthquakes. Um, a 7 to a 7.9, there was 16 earthquakes. Last year, 2020, of a magnitude 6 or greater, there was uh, 121 earthquakes. 121 for the entire year of a magnitude 6 or greater. And we'll bring it down a little bit. You can pause this and look at it if you want. But the largest, I believe, that I saw on here, um, I believe was a 7.6. Sandpoint, Alaska. Greece had a 7.0. And I'll bring it down some more. Let's see here. Now that one in Alaska, that did create a small tsunami. Here we got one in Mexico, a 7.4. And I'll come down a little bit farther. Oh, 7.5 in Russia. 121 earthquakes for the entire year. 7.7 .7 Jamaica. That's the largest it looks like so far. Yeah. And we got one more down here. Indonesia. Today being January 10th, there's already been seven earthquakes of a magnitude six or larger. And today is only the 10th day of this new year. So if we continued on this trend, there would be over 360 magnitude 6 or greater earthquakes by the end of the year if this current trend continues. 360 compared to last year when there was only 120. We have two so far for the 10th. We have two for the 8th. Um, two on the 6th. And then one on the 3rd. So if we take that trend also, um, two earthquakes every two days, that still is a whopping 180 earthquakes by the end of the year. Give or take, just something to think about. Like I said, these earthquakes are definitely increasing around the world this year. So are you prepared for a major earthquake somewhere in your location? Uh, please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.